hi everyone welcome to another video where i'm going to teach you this tiny components this is not ceramic capacitors this is smd inductors and i know that you tested wrong my friend we don't test smd inductors using the continuity option we use the ohm modes in this one for example we get continuity but it's failed that's why guys you have to pay attention to async to inductor so i'm going to teach you how to test it using the multimeter i'm going also to teach you how to replace it if it is failed because those inductors doesn't have any value or reference here above it like those for example for example for this one we have one r0 means this is 1.0 ohm this one for example we have 2 r2 this is 2.2 ohm because always r this is a decimal number means we have point 2.2 ohm this one here we have r26 means this is point 26 ohm means 0 0.26 ohm this one here we have 4 r7 means 4.7 ohm let's check this one to understand here we have r 4 r.7 and here we have 2 r 2 means we will find here 2.2 ohm and here we will find 4.7 ohm guys let's check these two inductions because i get a lot of question and comment about this kind of inductors and then go ahead and dive in into the smaller ones so welcome to the episode number 12 where you're gonna master asymd inductors testing so guys thank you very much please don't forget to like share the video and stay tuned for upcoming videos because our challenge is to test over 1000 components different components in a daily basis every day i'm going to upload a new video where i will test a different component so please to reach this challenge to reach 1000 different components i need your likes your shares and please as i told you if you want to thank me the best way to say to me thank you is by liking and sharing the video so let's begin with this one guys we have here 4 r7 means we have to find 4.7 let's check as you can see in the multimeter now let's check this one my friend we have here 2 r2 we should find about 2 r2 as you can see 2.3 nice point two. amazing this one is failed if we check it we will not get here any reading we will get up line so let's check look my friend one prop here another prop here do you see nothing in the multimeter nothing even if i use the continuity option look and your check do you see nothing we have up line so this one is bad so you have to change it with another inductor with the same reference we have one r0 means 1.0 ohm so now guys after understanding the bigger inductors those right now will be very easy for you and this is my purpose by beginning to explain to you those inductors in order to understand very well the smaller ones so those also we tested using the same working principle as big inductors but those we didn't have here any value so in order for example if you find this one is failed you have to use another one of course you have many choices if you have the schematic you will find its value in micro henry's but if you didn't have the schematic or the board view you have just to use another one from a donor board with the same color and same size those three for example are same but if you pay attention those are smaller in terms of size with the same color 
So if you have this one is bad, for example, you can go to another motherboard and use another one with the same color, same size. But those also, you have to use other one with the same color and same size. But in terms of testing the same, you can use just the ohm option and test it. Let's test it right now. So let's put one probe here, guys. Another one here. You see, we get zero using the continuity. Zero. But the problem here, my friends, is that the continuity doesn't show 100% if the inductor is good or not. Because the inductor has a resistance about 0 0.2 ohm. That's why we should use the ohm option to be sure. Because all inductors will give you the buzzer using the continuity option, but it could be fail if it is less than one ohm, for example. So let's check the same inductor using the ohm option. Okay, one probe here, another one here. We get about two point one good about two ohm. So this inductor is good one. But if you get less or you get zero, means it's failed. Even if the continuity is good, but the right test is using the ohm option. So guys, for beginner, of course, the inductor is a passive component that stores energy in a magnet in a magnetic field when current flows through it so they are small but powerful crucial for filtering voltage regulation and power delivery and please remember asim the inductors often look like square or rectangular black or gray blocks sometimes marked with numbers like 100 470, 1R0, 2R0, 4R7, and of course R is a decimal point. And to test an inductor with multimeter, first you have to do a visual check to find any burn marks, broken solder, discoloration, etc. So, a healthy ASMD inductor should show very low resistance, near 0.1 to a few ohms, depending on size. So guys, good inductor should show 0.3 ohm or less. Bad inductor, you will get up loop or very high resistance. So using continuity test, use beep mode to check if current can pass. Good for quick in-circuit checks. But this test, I mean continuity test, doesn't tell you exact inductors. Just whether the inductor is still electrically connected or not. So guys, here is some common mistakes. Testing in circuit without isolating mistaking inductors for capacitors or resistors, expecting accurate inductors with a basic multimeter, ignoring size this value correlation. Bigger doesn't always mean higher inductors. And here is some pro tips. Use an LCR meter if you want to accurate inductors. Check data sheets for marking if readable, keep a known good board for comparison, always test with power disconnected. So guys, thank you very much. Please don't forget to like, share the video and stay tuned for upcoming videos because our challenge is to test over 1000 components, different components in a daily basis. Every day I'm going to upload a new video where I will test a different component. So please, to reach this challenge, to reach 1000 different components, I need your likes, your shares, your motivation. And please, as I told you, if you want to thank me, the best way to say to me thank you is by liking and sharing the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and see you with another component.